much as metal, right? <laughs> it just absorbs yeah. cold. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Never thought about it that way, but. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. So you can't get like in the church, you can sit in the back pew, but here I can get closer and closer. <laughs> you can't get away. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Trim. Just no, sink around the fire. There you go. Whoops. Now next year somebody needs to bring one of those fire pits and put it yeah. right there. The fire pit. Is that the girl not going to rub the clips in how we ball? Okay. Leave sheets, boots, a half a dozen times. Kim bought me some of those gloves where the fingers are out, but I forgot to get them. They're all over the property now with the parents. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's for the big farmers up the thing. Yeah. He was saying it though. Um, yeah. It's, it's not glowing. I think it's in West Virginia where they bought them from. Oh, Jen, you have a present Good morning. on the table. He said it's oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, there's a uh, song sheets over here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, just hand those. If you could hand those. Well, out um, yeah. there are several people, but I recognize. Here you go. And here you. Thank you so much. Um, Good morning. Morning. So. Um, yeah. It sounded, sounded like one big party. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of dogs and kids and. Thank you. Good morning. Happy Easter. 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 Happy no. I know. <laughs> I know. She needs that back. <laughs> I think it's 6.30. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right, it is. <laughs>
preach. <laughs> Nancy, you're up first. <laughs> comes from John chapter 20. Early on Sunday morning, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and saw that the stone had been taken away from the entrance. She ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, whom Jesus had loved, and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we don't know where they have put him. Then Peter and the other disciple left and went to the tomb. The two of them were running, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent over, he saw the linen cloths, but he did not go in. Behind him came Simon Peter and he went straight into the tomb. He saw the linen cloths lying there and the cloth which had been around Jesus' head. <clears throat> it was not lying with the linen cloths, but it was rolled up by itself. Then the other disciple who had reached the tomb first also went in and saw and believed. They still did not understand the scripture which said that he must be raised from death. Then the disciples went back home. Mary stood crying outside the tomb. Still crying, she bent over, looked in the tomb, and saw two angels there, dressed in white, <clears throat> sitting where the body of Jesus had been one at the head, the other at the feet. Woman, why are you crying, they asked. She answered, they have taken my Lord away and I don't know where they have put him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Who is it that you are looking for? She thought he was the gardener, so she said to him, If you took him away, sir, tell me where you've put him, and I will go and get him. And Jesus said to her, Mary. And she turned toward him and said in Hebrew, Rabboni. This means teacher. Do not hold me, Jesus told her, because I have not yet gone back up to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them for me. I go back up to him who is my father, and your father, my God, and your God. So Mary Magdalene told the disciples that she had seen the Lord and that he had told her this. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. John says that Mary went to the tomb while it was still dark. John just meant she went very early, before the sun rose. But darkness can mean different things. Sometimes scripture refers to darkness as the absence of good, the absence of hope. Mary went to the tomb while it was still dark. It would be a dark world without Christ. It would be a dark world without hope, a world without meaning and purpose in life. It would be a dark world where sin and death ruled. While it was still dark, it would be a time when God's promises had been forgotten and God's people felt forsaken. A dark world would be a world where God's presence is no longer felt. At that time, Mary felt darkness in her soul. All her hopes, all her dreams, all the plans she had for the future had been extinguished at the crucifixion. The light of Mary's world had been blown out. For Mary, she came to the tomb while it was still dark, for her soul was dark indeed. Darkness is not only physical. Darkness can be spiritual too. A world without Christ would be a dark world. Mary went to the tomb while it was still dark. But fortunately, we know that that's not the end of the story. Because the Son of God had risen. Something that was not expected. A complete surprise. Even though Christ told his followers that he would die, and three days later, 
he would come back. They still did not understand. And when they encountered the empty tomb, they did not comprehend what had happened. This has been a very difficult year for a lot of people. A lot of people are, are just um, going back out and about after over two years of COVID. It has been a dark world for a lot of people. But whatever our darkness may be, the Son of God has risen. Because of that, Easter is a time of hope. Easter is a time of promise. And Easter is a time of healing. Why? Why is Easter offers us hope and promise and healing? Because of the resurrection. For the promise that we have is not an empty promise based on some type of wishful thinking. The hope that we have is the hope that's founded in the resurrection of Christ. And it's because of Christ's resurrection, we have hope. The Son of God has risen. And that's the rest of the story. Thanks be to God. Amen. Sing, um, he lives.
Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. May God's love, grace, and peace be with us. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. Is food inside?